for this blessed day to everyone so today I'm gonna to talk about my musical career how I get started off now my both parents they are pastors I'm a picky so let me tell you this, this is a very a very interesting story you know my mom and dad they don't make joke when they come to being in church you had to clap your hand you had to knock a drum you had to, you had to, you had to shake a tambourine right you had to be you had to take active part in church be part of the men's choir you had to be part of everything sunday school everything go right back you had to be had to be taking active part in it you know what i mean and i want to give real thanks to my dad because you know he won the top 10 award in nashville you know he is a very prolific um songwriter and i give god thanks to him because every time he will work on melodies and stuff and he writing songs and he will be like karen even me had been attended you will be like what do you think about um this melody and I'll be like, Dad, yes, it's sounding good, you know, you know, it, it, it promising. And because of that, you know, the saying, the gift goes on the Father, I give the Son. I believe I develop the melodies as well. So I give real thanks to my dad for that. So on top of that, I had to thank my, my siblings too, because I remember my, my brother and I, we used to do a lot of cover notes like Shaka Dimas. And I'm um, calling me bad. Um, Jesus, you're my savior, I'll do anything for you. I serve you and I trust you, I'll do everything. Next one is um Jesus, your love. It's like my running fire around my soul. When Jesus comes in my feet, take control. You know them different things. But you know, back in them days, my mom and them, they never used to listen to dub music or, or dance, all of them different things. And so, you know, gradually we started to like creep it in now, if you understand what I'm trying to say bring it into them so we start to say yeah mommy this is gospel this is what we come up with you know and that thing but that time they didn't know what's cover notes but eventually they found out that it was cover notes we were doing so my bro and i we used to go like the church concerts and do that which was really really fun days you know what i mean and cutting a long story short i remember even being in school i always used to be knocking the desk and that started from church as i say moms and dad used to always have us taking active part so that rhythm was always in me you know what i mean so in school days i would always knock the desk try a little freestyle and this kind of thing and as i grew as i grew i remember you know my my beautiful wife nikki nice she discovered that you know i really had this great talent and she was like yo why don't you just take this thing to a different level and i really had no interest in being an artist and she was the one that said hey, i think you should take it to the next level and you should jump out and be an artist you know what i mean a gospel artist and i remember i gave it a try i checked a couple members and stuff and, thing, and i remember a former band and we went point 14 by mark balancing to do our first show i can never forget this day my dad went to support me as usual my dad went to support me and when we went to do this particular show one of the um MCs walk up to me and say, okay, you guys are going on next. What is the name of the group? We didn't have a name for the group. And my dad there and then on the spot, he was like, the name of this group is Mission Epistle. It sounds really strange to me, but I just went with the flow. And Mission Epistle was in existence, so I believe eight years. We had, some, we had eight successful, great years. I must give God thanks for um, Mission Epistle, but it meant like, J Square, Silencer, and a whole heap, whole heap of people, you know what I mean? Good, 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 strong ministers, you know what I mean? And I give God thanks to them, big up yourself, wherever there is right now, big up yourself, J Square, Silencer, and everyone else who work on the Mission Epistle, a lot of good musicians pass through Mission Epistle too. And as I say, that is, where, that is where it really started off. I had Mission Epistle for about eight years, and then the Lord spoke to me and He said, you know what? It's time you branch out and do this thing on your own. And I started off doing it on my own. I can tell you this, being on your own is not an easy thing. I can tell anybody that it's not an easy thing being on your own, but you know what? God is always sustaining you, you know, and God is always giving you the right people to work with you to take it to the next level. So that's basically, basically how I started off with music. And um, from there, you mean we just visit different Caribbean islands. We got a lot of love in um, Bahamas, Grenada, you just name it. You know what I mean? And God just keep on doing this thing. And right now, I'm in the process of writing songs for people. You're going to be hearing it on the radio stations all over the Caribbean. Some top, top artists that I, you know, I started to work with and write music for them. So, my point is, 
do the spice a little beginning because if my dad and my mom wasn't so stern on me doing what I was doing in church I would have never been here today writing songs like daddy daddy um, send me um, tumbling forward father rain down countless songs favor with Joshua Ali um, holding on you just name it worship you um, shut it down a lot a lot of songs that I work with um, and still in the still in the writing business right now so again do the spice a little beginning you know what I mean and that is just a little inside how I started off um, and thank you for the company because right now on the highway right now and I really wanted the company so that's why I did this blog and I hope that you know somebody really hear this and be encouraged you know what I mean blessings